Hello boys and girls of grade 4. Welcome to our science class today. I am your teacher, Miss Yelita Brown Phillips. Are you ready to take this journey with me? Fasten your seatbelts, grab a pen, grab your notebook, and let's journey into the land of science. The human body is made up of many organs. These organs work in a group to form organ systems. These systems are responsible for the proper functioning of the human body. Some of the major organ systems are the nervous system, the respiratory system, the circulatory system, the excretory system, the digestive system, the skeletal system, and the reproductive system. Do you ever wonder where that lovely breakfast of pepper pot and cassava bread, or planting and eggs, or bread and cheese go? Or when you take a nice deep breath, where does the oxygen go? Our circulatory system is highly involved in this. It is one of the most fascinating systems in the human body. And you will see that today. Today, we will be focusing on the circulatory system. I like to call it the transport system. The circulatory system transports oxygen, nutrients, and other substances throughout the body and removes waste from the tissue. The heart, arteries, veins, and capillaries all make up the circulatory system. Blood goes through your body in your circulatory system. Your heart pumps the blood and the blood vessels carry the blood. The arteries, capillaries, and veins are blood vessels. Arteries take blood enriched with oxygen around the body. We can say, in simpler terms, arteries take oxygenated blood around the body. That is, blood rich with oxygen. The largest artery is called the aorta. Veins return blood back to the heart. Capillaries are the smallest blood vessels. The walls of the capillaries are very thin. They are so thin that they allow oxygen and nutrients from the food we eat to pass from the blood into the tissue. The heart is the main organ of the circulatory system and it is very important. The heart is a pump. It pumps blood which is transported around the body. Your heartbeat is the sound of your heart pumping blood. Go ahead and rest your hands on your chest, boys and girls. Do you feel that thump, thump, thump? That is your heart pumping blood. Let's examine how the heart works. The human heart is divided into four chambers, namely the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, and the left ventricle. The right side of the heart pumps impure blood to the lungs where it picks up oxygen. In other words, the blood that is pumped on the right side of the heart is deoxygenated blood. blood that is not rich in oxygen. So, the impure blood is purified in the lungs. The oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart via the pulmonary vein. The oxygenated blood will now be bright red in color. The aorta this is known as the main artery in the circulatory system. 
the aorta takes the blood that is rich in oxygen to all parts of our body. Blood picks up carbon dioxide from cells and it is pumped at low pressure through the veins back to the heart and the process restarts. So you see boys and girls, the veins are responsible for transporting blood. Let's zoom in a little closer and examine how some diseases can affect the smooth functioning of our circulatory system. High blood pressure is one such disease, low blood pressure, diabetes, and coronary heart disease. So boys and girls, that's a lot of information. Let's take a break. It's trivia time. How long does it take blood to circulate through the body? On an average, it takes about 45 seconds for blood to circulate from the heart all around the body and back to the heart again. So boys and girls, that is under one minute the blood takes to make a complete trip around the body. Could you imagine how many trips the blood take in one day? So you see our circulatory system is fascinating and it's very, very important. And in order to ensure the smooth functioning of our body, we should take care of our circulatory system. So here are a few ways in which you can take care of your circulatory system. First off, you reduce your fat intake. You reduce the amount of fatty foods you consume, butter and cheese and meat and so forth. You replace junk food with healthy foods like fruits and vegetables and nuts. We exercise regularly and exercising regularly will help us to maintain a healthy body weight. So boys and girls, I want to implore you today to ensure you take care of your circulatory system. And also, you can tell mommy and daddy how to take care of their circulatory system and how important it is. So we will look at some facts about our heart. The heart beats about 60 to 100 beats per a minute. Wow! Could you imagine that? In 60 seconds, our heart beats between 60 to 100 times. However, it beats much faster when we exercise, our heart rate increases, and also when we are afraid. The heart is located to the left side of the chest and is protected by the rib cage. The human heart has a right side and a left side. Your folded face is about the size of your heart. Yes, boys and girls, I see you folding those fists. That is the size of your heart. So you've learned quite a lot today. And we cannot leave unless I am sure that this concept is clear. So I have prepared a little quiz for you. So I want you to take your time and answer these questions. Question one, the something is the pump of the circulatory system. The something is the pump of the circulatory system. Good, let's see what you have. Do you have heart? Yes, in our discussion, we said that the heart is the pump of the circulatory system. It is responsible for pumping blood all around our body. Number two, 
Blood rich in something is bright red. What do you have? Do you have oxygen? If you do, that's absolutely correct. So put a big tick, boys and girls. Blood rich in oxygen is bright red. And of course, deoxygenated blood or blood not rich in oxygen would have a dull red color. Number three, which of the following is not a disease of the circulatory system? Let's see what you have. Did you put the answer asthma? Yes, that is absolutely correct. All the other options are diseases of the circulatory system. In fact, asthma is a disease of the respiratory system. Boys and girls, did you get all correct? I am beyond proud of you boys and girls. Thank you for joining us and remember to keep calm and take care of your circulatory system. Bye boys and girls, see you next time.